Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 13th. Yeah, around the 13th. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This is something that is coming in, okay? Interesting. Very interesting. Looks like we have the King of Cups versus the Knight of Cups reversed. So this is very interesting. So it's like somebody is making an offer of love. They're looking for love. You know, they're speaking of love. But with the Knight of Cups reverse, I'm not sure it's real. You know, this is this is a seducer. This is a heartbreaker. Could be a, a womanizer or something like that. I mean, the King of Cups is somebody that acts on their feelings, but with the Knight of Cups reverse, this is unreliable. So, you know, hmm. There could be somebody here that is two-faced. Right? I mean, we got the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups reversed. This is somebody who may speak of love very fluently. Oh, this is a smooth talker. Very skilled at, you know, talking about it. Maybe even showing it. But I don't, it doesn't appear that it's real. You know, it could be manipulation. This could be somebody that um, is, is indecisive. They want it, but they don't. It could also be a person that is reluctant to open their heart because they've been heartbroken in the past. This could be somebody that is afraid of rejection. Because you notice this one's like... It feels like there's reluctance here. So we may have somebody here that is reluctant to give their heart away, reluctant to follow their heart or something like that because they've been heartbroken, broken, right? This could be somebody that typically sweeps, sweeps uh, problems under the rug. There could be some emotional upset here or emotional turmoil, you know. There could also be rivals, Okay, we could have two different people here. There could be some love rivals, a rivalry, right? Anyway, um, Knight of Cups reverse. That is, this is like, there could be somebody that comes in. They come in, they sweep you right off your feet, you know, with their words or their, you know, the way they express their love to you. They sweep you right off their feet, all right? Um... Let's get another card. The mm, tower. Right? Or is this the moon? This is the moon. It is the moon. I saw the pillars. In the tower. But there's somebody that is hiding something. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Could be dealing with the Cancer. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. We, whoever this person is, all is not as it seems. There's a lot of fear here. Maybe fear of getting their heart broke. Somebody, But it's interesting that I saw the tower. So feeling disruption in, on the inside. Somebody is feeling disruption. And they're unsure because this is an unsure and difficult path ahead. And there are, So it's like they want to express their feelings. 
but I feel like they're hiding their feelings because this is ruled by the shadow. You can't, what you see is not what you get. You got to be careful. Somebody needs to be really, really, really careful. Okay. All is not as it seems. We have somebody here that could be upset. This person may have been falling in love or they were looking for a relationship. Maybe they got rejected. I mean, the Knight of Cups in reversed is, it could mean so many things. All is not as it seems. There's, there's something more to this person. This person appears to be uh, emotionally available, but it's like they can't look you in the eye. You know, this person's looking down. There's something that isn't real here. It's not real. It's not. We could also have a stalker. Oh, boy. Beware with the moon card. Beware. All right. Um, yeah, somebody, this is beware. All is not, it seems, somebody's not happy. They're definitely not happy with that Knight of Cups reversed. There could be an emotional outburst ahead or something like that. What is this? There could be a withdrawn invitation. You know, somebody made an invitation. Now the invitation has been withdrawn. All is not as it seems. Proceed with caution. Hanged man reverse. Some of you are, are dealing with Pisces. Okay. Pisces, 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 Pisces. So I'm not sure. Or somebody that has a lot of Pisces. Or it's Pisces season. Right? It is Pisces season. So that makes sense. So isn't it? But don't we have a Pisces new moon? Like tomorrow? Oh. Okay. So this may have to do with Pis the Pisces new moon. Now, this is somebody who doesn't listen, will not change. When you get the hangman in reverse, this is refusing to go in, struggling to let go, has to prove a point, obsessed with control, fighting their inner self, hiding something, somebody that is missing an opportunity because they will not face their fears. This could be a commitment phobic. You know, somebody just afraid of commitment or something. It's like they they want love. They want love, but they're unwilling to change. They're unwilling to uh, let go of something. Maybe they got some sort of point to prove, or they're just afraid of commitment. I mean, the hangman reversed is hiding something right next to that moon. Somebody's hiding their feelings. Imagine that. Somebody is hiding their feelings. And it's because they're in their ego. They are in their ego. They are, um, they've been procrastinating. They may be in an unrequited love situation right now with the Knight of Cups reverse, hanging on to an unrequited love situation. Could be because of codependency. Ooh, Queen of Swords reversed. Now, the Queen of Swords reversed is somebody that's hard to deal with, okay? Uh, somebody that doesn't put up with any crap, okay? The Queen of Swords in reversed is uh, very to the point, harsh, bitter. I mean... This is somebody that you don't mess with. There could be some intimidation here. I think that, um, you know, this, the Queen of Swords in reverse is, is critical, hypercritical. This is somebody that is uh, severe. You know, she, she's very severe with her words. I think that we have an individual here that has feelings for this person, but I feel like they're, this is fear. It is fear. They may be afraid because this Queen of Swords in reverse can be a real bitch. Okay? Um, she's manipulative. She can be malicious. She's rude. Um, unsympathetic. Doesn't have any sympathy. So there's no sympathy. Um, 
for lies or deception or anything like that. I feel like we have a person that has made somebody bitter. Be this because, and this is a user. And the Queen of Swords does not become a bitch for no reason. Okay? There's a reason behind it. Okay? So we have somebody here that is struggling. They're struggling. They're struggling with their fear. They're intimidated by this person. And maybe it's because this person is hateful. I mean, the Queen of Swords in reverse can be a hateful person who has been, uh, what's the word for it? Scorned. Okay, this woman is scorned. Because she thought that she was getting love, right? She thought that she was getting love from somebody. And it was all a lie. I mean, and what you see is not what you get. So I do believe there's some sort of punishment here, perhaps. I feel like this person has missed an opportunity. Because this is a missed opportunity trying to prove something. This person won't change. They're in their ego. This person has missed an opportunity. They have caused somebody to be bitter, right? Now there's no relationship with the Knight of Cups reverse. There's no relationship. Or the relationship is... You know, suffering by the looks of things, definitely. There's some sadness here as well with the Knight of Cups reversed. It's interesting because I heard this song the other day and it just came to me. Because I actually woke up in the morning. It might have even been this morning. I think it was. I wish you were a better man. It was better man. I wish you were a better man. If you were a better man. And it was like playing when I woke up. And it wasn't playing on the radio. It was playing in my head. So it's interesting. I, f I feel like we have somebody that has missed an opportunity with somebody that is very authentic, very intelligent, very sharp, very um, beautiful. But, you know, and I feel like this person... Uh, is probably thinking, thinking a lot about it, but they aren't going to take any action because they're in their ego. The hangman reverse is somebody that is sacrificing, extremely sacrificing something, refusing to go in, fighting their inner self. So we got somebody here that has not learned their lesson. They have not learned their lesson. They're in their shadow. They're in a dark place. They're refusing to see things for what they are. And maybe they're afraid of commitment. And when you, and if they pissed off this person, you know, this person can be hateful and bitter and nasty. So I do think we have somebody here that is in their feelings and they're, and they may be feeling sad and heartbroken over a person that they missed an opportunity from. And this has to do with the Pisces new moon. Could be have something to do with Virgo, because Virgo. Um, I think that it will be the full moon. Something could happen around the full moon. Anyhow, um, we have somebody here that is struggling right now, and they are struggling in a very big way with their emotions. Very, very emotional. And I feel like their intuition is really poking them. Their gut, their intuition, their feelings. And I feel like they're in emotional turmoil because they've, they've hidden their feelings. They've buried their feelings below the surface, right? And now they're really in their feelings over somebody that, you know... I feel like they hurt this person. Like I said, the Queen of Swords doesn't become a bitch for no reason. Ah, judgment reverse. Now, judgment, we all know, is perhaps another chance. There's no chance in reverse. You know, this person is in their feelings because they know that there's no chance. They know that there's no chance with this person. Okay? Because what's the opposite of truth? Lies. Somebody has made a bad choice and they feel guilty. They should feel guilty. 
They didn't listen to the higher call. They didn't, or they got some poor advice. They listened to poor advice or they, they just didn't listen to their gut. We may have somebody here that is definitely not telling the truth about their feelings about a person that they, I feel like they betrayed this person and it's hard to accept. I mean, judgment revert, ju judgment upright is acceptance. So in reverse, it's not accepting. I do believe we have somebody here that is uh, struggling to express their feelings. They may not be able to look somebody in the face. I don't feel like this person dares to look somebody in the face because they hurt them so bad. They broke somebody's heart. So now they're just sitting there, you know, suffering because of that hangman reverse. This is somebody that isn't going to change. They'd rather miss the opportunity for love than let go of their pride so we got somebody here that is in their pride and i feel like there are emotions it's a very emotional time because it's hard when you ignore your emotions you know it, it bottles up inside and it could cause an emotional outburst so you know with that nine of cups reverse i feel like we have somebody here that has been distraught or they're in dis they're going to be in a state of distress during this new moon you know um, because of somebody that they hurt, you know, they, they know what they did, put it that way. They definitely know what they did. And now they're probably in, or they got themselves involved in an unrequited love situation to prove a point. And it's too late. There's no chance for reconciliation. The, the judgment reverse is no chance. There's no chance for forgiveness here. Or there's, there could be fear of no forgiveness. Will there be forgiveness? Let's ask that question. It doesn't look good. Um, the, the Queen of Swords in reverse is like, no, mm -mm. you know, but, ooh, strength card. Now the strength card is a card of courage. I don't know why I'm getting these cards wrong. I didn't get it wrong. <laughs> this is the strength card. We have somebody here that needs to find their courage. They need to find their confidence and their strength to let go of something, to let go of their fear. It will take courage. It will take confidence. But they're up against somebody that they are scared of. They are really scared of this person. What are they? They're going to attack me. I don't want to be attacked, you know. So I do, I do believe that there is an individual that is probably thinking a lot about everything that has happened. They're thinking about the lies. They're thinking about the betrayal. Um, they probably want another chance, but there is a huge fear of rejection. We have somebody here that needs to master their emotions. They need to replace their fear. They need to take action. But they, they, I don't see them taking action because they're, they're in their pride. This is a card of pride. And this the strength and the hangman are both cards of pride. We definitely have somebody here that is in their pride. And I feel like, you know, they, whoever it is that they hurt, you know, they say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, made this person stronger made this person really, really, really strong. May have turned them into a bitch, but it also made them stronger. So there's, there's no chance. It's like this person is so strong now because of the heartbreak, there's really no chance for forgiveness. This person will never forgive me. They're so strong. They're, this is somebody that has gained a lot of strength through betrayal. 
So I do believe we have an individual that is really going to be in their feelings and they're struggling. They are really struggling to find their courage. And it may have to do with an apology because this is I will not apologize and this is not apologizing. You know, there's, a, there's, there's an opportunity to apologize here. But we have somebody here that is so in their ego, they, they, they can't apologize, right? And they're hiding their feelings. They're definitely going to be in their feelings. This person is restraining themselves right now. And they're thinking about it. And they're not showing their feelings at all. And I think they're not showing their feelings because they're intimidated by the person's strength that they lied to. You know, whoever they lied to, whoever they didn't tell the truth to, you know, whoever it is that they cause to be bitter, they definitely do not expect to be forgiven or accepted. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, tough position. We have an individual that is in a very tough position. Uh, they are, right now, they're protecting themselves. They are protecting themselves from getting hurt. Very, very guarded. I feel like we have somebody here that is still in a top position as well. They have not lost. There is still time, whatever that means. And I didn't see that before, but I do now. We have somebody here that is strong, that still is in a good position. They may not know it, but they're still in a good position. They can still win this battle, whatever it is, with the Seven of Wands hate to say that. We have an individual that has some competition. They know that they have competition. We've been talking about this, but they will have to fight. And I feel like this person uh, just needs to find their courage and their confidence to fight. They are up, up against some stiff competition. They are. And they know it. We do. I mean, seven of wands, stiff competition. We have a stiff competition here. But the Seven of Wands is also also a warrior, okay? This is somebody who has fought many battles already and has won many battles. This is somebody that is very skilled and can win this battle against the competition. But the only way they're going to win the battle is, this, is if they let go of their pride and they let go of their ego. <laughs> And they fight for it. So anyway, um, the Seven of Wands is uh, don't give up. Whoever this person is, is probably thinking about giving up because they think, you know, I'm rejected. There's other people, you know, this person has been hurt so badly that they're never going to give me a chance. They'll give you a chance if you can face your fears and fight for them. You know, but this person has been hurt. And their guard is up. They're looking for somebody to protect them. So I do believe we have somebody here that wants to be in a relationship with this bitch. But this bitch uh, has been hurt too badly. Don't give up. I mean, what more can I say? This is a tough position. It's kind of like when you win a race. You, if to win the race, you have to work for it. So 
So anyway, on this day, I do believe that uh, there could be somebody that is, is uh, deciding to fight for something after they have been rejected. They want another chance. This person may swallow their pride. Unexpected choice in love. I just flipped over the top card for the heck of it. The lovers. Right? That's an unexpected choice in love. This is a perfect match. It match. It's a major choice. It's a healing love. There's a sexual connection. There's shared values. This is a commitment. So I do believe that there is somebody in there. And you notice there's somebody coming in out of nowhere before it's too late. There is competition here. If you want the prize, you got to get moving. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini. Um, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Pisces a lot. We have Pisces a lot. So, um, there's been some sort of abandonment. There's been some sort of neglect. We have an individual that has uh, chosen to go down the wrong path. And they need to... Uh, they need to go in a different direction. And I think they're going to be leaving somebody behind. Because they have to. Expect change. Expect the unexpected, okay? Expect we have somebody here that is in their feelings and they've let pride get in the way. After a rejection, it's like, oh, should I fight for it or should I not fight for it? I would say to fight for it. Um, there could also be a fight, okay? There could be a fight. Somebody may have this strong desire Okay, maybe in the, there, there's sexual energy here. Just saying. Okay, they have these strong, this strong desire to get with somebody, and they may have been rejected, and that could cause a fight. Okay, so expect the unexpected. I do believe that somebody has been rejected, and it's not over yet. Somebody could be caught off guard by somebody that they rejected. Okay, this person could get pissed. They could show up out of nowhere in the middle of the night. There is heartbroke, heartbroke here. Somebody's heartbroken. Beware. That's all I gotta say. Beware. All is not as it seems. Good luck.